In this video, we're going to take a look at another three-quarter scale arcade machine that has recently entered the market. This is the II Arcade, or I Arcade. Actually, I'm not 100% sure how it's supposed to be pronounced, but it is still a pretty sweet machine. This is Steve from Rostalgia, and let's get started. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for clicking on the video and consider subscribing for more content. Now for the purposes of this video, I will simply be calling this machine the I Arcade. But if you guys know that I'm wrong and it's supposed to be called something else like the double I Arcade, let me know in the comment section down below. And I would also like to give a shout out to Jong and the team over at I Arcade for sending this machine out to me for review. Now let's go ahead and jump on into it. I'd like to first start off by going over where and how this machine fits into the market and what makes it different from some of the other three quarter scale machines currently being sold. The first thing that stands out is the overall build quality. After getting my hands on multiple other brands of products, this is above and beyond the best built arcade machine in terms of material and quality that's available in this market space. Keep in mind this machine does cost a fair amount more than any of the others, so it is expected to be a premium product, but it does not fail to deliver on that promise. The next major differentiator would be the processing power of this machine. This arcade machine actually has two CPU clusters that work side by side, pushing out hexa-core performance. The iArcade is running a Rockchip 3399 SoC, which has a dual-core ARM Cortex A72 MP core and a quad-core ARM Cortex A53 MP core processor. And what this essentially means is that the onboard chip is an absolute workhorse for both low and high power load requirements. It has a 3D graphics engine on board with the Mali T860 MP4 quad-core GPU, which supports OpenGL, OpenCL, and DirectX 11.1. And this is all partnered with 4 gigs of LPDDR4X memory for some really quick performance. Now there simply is no pre-built commercial machine on the market that packs this kind of native performance in this form factor. And to be honest, that is exactly what hooked me into this product in the first place. We will get back into this a little bit later in the video, but let's go ahead and have a look at the physical appearance of the machine. The iArcade is a very modern take on the classic arcade aesthetic. It has a very sleek looking frame and is very sharp with hard edges all around the machine. The artwork is a little bit of a throwback with a modern twist and we get those bright neon oranges and blues that give off kind of like a 90s vibe but also give off an almost modern era Tron look which makes it stand out from across the room. This machine was available in a number of design options including a couple of designs based off of some flagship titles included in the machine. Now those are going to be things like Dragon's Lair and Double Dragon. We even actually have a Retro Mania themed machine for those who are interested in that new title which can be purchased directly from iArcade as well. The machine I have includes the base but you also do have the option of just purchasing the bar top if you are limited in space as well. Now some of the other features of this machine include a 19 inch LCD display with a resolution of 1280 by 1024. It has 100 watts of power amplified dual speakers, which are actually really, really loud. 64 gigs of internal storage in this model, but some other models do have substantially more storage. It has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for some quiet play, and it even has an HDMI out port for those interested in capturing their gameplay or streaming. Now shifting back into why I was originally interested in this machine and it was really all based around the powerful internal specs. I have other full size and three quarter scale machines and I'm absolutely no stranger to emulation on multiple devices. So buying another cabinet that was limited to some of the traditional arcade games really wasn't something I was looking for. The iArcade has the ability to run substantially more modern titles. In fact, the iArcade is capable of running a ton of current gen Android titles and even ports from things like the Nintendo Switch or the PlayStation 4. 
and this was absolutely huge to me as it opened the doors of arcade gaming back to a younger generation of gamers who don't really have as much interest in the classic arcade games or perhaps are too young to have been able to experience going to an actual arcade. Now this machine comes loaded with 10 built-in games and most of them are the older titles that I'll probably never play, but you do get some really awesome titles like Double Dragon and also Dragon's Lair included in the batch. They also include a couple of more modern titles like Beach Buggy Racing and Bomb Squad, which I find myself playing more than anything else included. The iArcade has gone one step further and actually created a digital game store that allows you to go online and purchase from a large selection of licenses that they have the rights to and download them directly over Wi-Fi to your machine. And I absolutely love this feature just because it kind of gives you the opportunity to pick and choose what games you want to have built into your machine. If you don't like the built-in 10 games, you can go ahead and remove them, free up that space and grab other games to fill up your own personal catalog. For me, I don't really see myself ever buying any retro game on their platform. Rather, I'm going to be investing in more modern titles. For example, I have Dead Cells up and running on this machine, and it's incredible, and it plays really, really well with the control layout. And one thing I will note is that there is a good amount of filler titles, but they do have a good few bangers available for purchase as well. And I hope they continue to invest in some of the mainstream IP and especially some more modern titles because I believe that's where the core demographic they should be pursuing actually is interested in. Now shifting into some things that I'm not really a big fan of with this product is the main menu and the UI of the machine really isn't a design style I personally like, but it does get the job done. And I will say that the navigation does feel a tiny bit clunky from time to time, but these are all things that can be tweaked and improved over time, which they are actively doing as we have received a few firmware updates since the release. And I would also like to see the iArcade integrate their eStore to be something that you can actually access right from the machine, just so you don't have to pull out your smartphone or go to a computer. The controls also aren't something that I am super fond of. Now they are substantially better than their bigger competition in the market. However, they are promoted as Sanwa clone or Sanwa style joysticks and buttons, which they very well may be, but I'd guess that they probably aren't the top of the line clones by any stretch. If you are nitpicky about this sort of thing, you may be inclined to swap out the buttons at a minimum. I would also say that the screen is actually really nice and vibrant when you are standing directly in front of it, but the viewing angles from the sides aren't really that great. The iArcade is not a cheap machine, with the starting price at $600 for the bar top alone, but if you are looking for a premium machine that you can completely customize the game selection and take advantage of playing games that typically don't run natively on any other three quarter scale machine in the market, then you should definitely consider picking one of these up. With this kind of modern look, it would make a great addition to really any game room or home bar. But that is pretty much all I have for you guys in this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts on this machine are. Does it interest you? Have you been considering picking one up? Let me know. Thank you so very much for watching. And I will talk to you guys again real soon.